shoulders a little bit different and also less common because as you can imagine, the shoulders are non-weight bearing joints. So you're not walking around on your shoulders, um, but still shoulder arthritis does develop in a, a significant uh, subset of the population. The big difference is the acute shoulder injuries heal over time with various other modalities and therapies, but the arthritis develops and sets in in the bone and, and is a result of the cartilage wearing away that eventually needs to be addressed uh, down the road with the surgery. So it's important if you have a significant injury of your shoulder early on, say you're young in your 20s, 30s, or even earlier, um, it's important to see a physician um, and get that um, injury addressed early on so you don't have those long-term detrimental effects on your shoulder. The other main components of diet, weight loss, exercise, those things all help you in the long run. The other point I'll elaborate on is a lot of times patients as they get older and they become more walker dependent and they're heavier, that becomes a significant contributor to arthritis because essentially what you're doing is you're turning the shoulder joint into a weight bearing joint as you're using the walker. So that's something to think about as well. Physical therapy of the shoulder is so important because it's such a dynamic joint and it has to do all sorts of motions and various axes and planes in space. Um, the stronger your rotator cuff, the stronger your what we call them the periscapular stabilizers, the stronger those muscles are, that helps maintain the dynamic balance of your shoulder joint and is very, very critical to the long-term integrity of your shoulder joint. There are many different spots to get an injection in the shoulder. And these are gonna be different. And depending on where your pain is, if you point to the front of your shoulder, point to the side of your shoulder, point to the back of your shoulder, there are a lot of different pain generators. So there are multiple different spots where you can give an injection to calm the inflammation down. The other thing I'll, I'll uh, mention is that you can get referred pain from the neck. So just like with the back, back and hip pain going together, a lot of times neck and shoulder pain goes together. So it's important to again discuss with your, your different providers about which source is the main contributor to your specific pain. The way I approach this when you come to me in the office is, do you have arthritis? If you have mild, a mild amount of arthritis, but overall the integrity of your joint still preserved, I'll be obtaining an MRI to see uh, exactly what is going on, especially if you kind of have pain all over. If you come to me and I get x-rays and you already have advanced arthritis, then an MRI really doesn't tell me much more information. Um, the other point I'll elaborate on that is that a lot of times when you have that arthritis and you're planning to get a various type of shoulder replacement, a lot of times an MRI or even a CT scan can be helpful to help with preoperative planning for the surgeon. So it's important to know that that will also be helpful. So if you tried physical therapy, you've tried injections, you've tried injections on multiple spots, you know, in, in our office, we do a pretty good job of delineating exactly which pain generator is your main source of pain so we can help kind of treat that comprehensively. When that stuff's no longer working and the medicine's no longer working, then you want to start talking about the various types of shoulder replacements. In the standard, straight up, straightforward total shoulder replacement, the surgeon goes in and replaces the humeral head, so the ball part of the shoulder joint, and the glenoid, which is the socket. So you get that articulation with uh, sophisticated artificial components to um, let you do the functions that you need to do. The other type of shoulder replacement is called the reverse shoulder replacement. And basically the reverse shoulder replacement reverses the normal orientation of the components to introduce a biomechanical advantage to restore shoulder function. So just like total hip and total knee replacements, total shoulder replacements have a proven track record um, and uh, patients report excellent uh, quality of life and improved outcomes in, in the long term. Um, here at Penn Highlands, you know, we specialize in this procedure and uh, we have a dedicated team of physicians and surgeons that are here to partner with you in that process and get you back to what you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis.